All right, guys, I got a brand new ProSource. It is a disc lock. I picked this up on a trip down to Texas fairly recently. Um, it is made in China, though, so I don't know really what to expect. Probably no false gates. That would be um, an easy thing to pick into usually. Uh, two keys included, solid metal shackle. You guys can see all that stuff. Um, what may not be able to easy to see through the package, if you look at that, Tag. It looks like there are nine digits, and you kind of look through there. You can I can't make out what the cuts are through that reflective material, but I can see that there are, could be possibly nine cuts, which would indicate maybe nine discs, which is about three or four more discs than we're used to. So it has great promise. Don't need that does work. Let's just, because it is made in China, before we waste a lot of time on it, just make sure it does work. Oh, look at there. It comes all the way out. And that thing, I don't know if you can see it, that thing is filthy. That's nasty. But, looks like some ball bearings down inside of there. So, let's put it back together. It is locked. And it's a pretty wide open keyway. So, let's see if we can make See if we can fit this little guy in there and get him to tension. Yeah, I think he'll work. All right, so before we do that, though, we need to rotate all those discs. And I have a little Z-wrench we'll try to do that with. I'm trying to move all my discs to one limit or the other. I'm going to push them all, I guess. There's one back there that... Doesn't, this isn't quite long enough. I'll try this little guy. All right, now we got that last one. It'd be a shame to rotate everything except that last one. I think we got it. All right, so we are completely rotated clockwise. Let me line this dude up. Slide him in there. A little awkward getting tension there, but put him all the way in. Let's see if we can find a binder. That last one was a binder. There's number three. There we go. Number four. Nice little click. That was five. Number seven. Oh, let me put him back. Well, I know there's got to be one. I'm going to apply a little more tension with my fingers and see if I can force something to bind now. Whoops. Put him back. Well, there's a lot of free ones in there. Can't see any binders. I'm now I'm feeling to see which ones of them feel like they're really in the gate. He's in the gate. He's in the gate. He's not in the gate. But he's not binding. Got a binder right there. It feels like he's in the gate, but it might be a false gate.
Nope. That was a real gate. That also was a real gate. Come on. All right, I'm going to apply a little more tension with my fingers now. Try again, I'm trying to force something. I There are a couple of free floaters in there, like that one. Feels like number 5. Number 6, free floater. Not binding at all. I think nine's in the real gate. It's five's in the real gate. Three's in a real gate. Four's in a real gate. Five's a free floater. And nine just binds all the way around. I can't feel a gate there. Okay, that was one that's definitely not in the correct gate. Number four. Okay, where are you? You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Number nine, still not. There we go. I felt a slight turn on the core when I pushed nine all the way back. I probably had him a little bit past his actual gate. Okay, that was number seven. It clicked in nicely. And there we go. I'll tell you, this is almost, I had that literally all the way in there to reach that back one. I'm not used to going that deep. I really believe there are nine inside of here. And you can see I was right at the very limit of this tool. So I think it's time to redesign a new tool and Make it make sure it has a little bit longer shaft and a little bit more inset, just in case those keyways are a little more a little deeper than this one. I th again, I was right at the very limit of the depth of this tool, just just a little bit left, not much, but we're definitely exploring the limits. Anyway, guys, there you go, the Pro Source Disc Detainer Nine Discs. And there you go. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. As always, I appreciate your subscription. Hit that like button. And if you'd like to support the Lock Lab, you know what to do. Patreon or PayPal. The links are down there. Appreciate your support, guys.
If you like what Lock Lab's doing, you can really help me out by subscribing, hitting the like button, and of course sharing it on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks, guys.